why only where you are at the moment you're asking yourself why are you where you are at the moment uh family you are where you are at the moment because he wants you there listen this is so powerful you are where you are at the moment because he wants you there who wants you there god wants you there that is why you are where you are at the moment you are where you are for a purpose you are where you are because maybe he wants you to learn the lesson you are where you are because maybe he's still preparing you for something very big are you with me family sanini yes yeah, sanini is in the house yes yeah, sanini are you with me family uh i want to share with you why you are where you are england is in the house tata england family you are where you are for a purpose don't take it for granted don't take your situation for granted it's for a big purpose it just uh, is we human beings who don't see the purpose of why we are where we are. We human beings, we don't have the spiritual eye to understand the purpose of our situations. Are you with me, family? Are, are, you, are you getting me? Are you getting me? I want to show you. I, I, I want to sh show you. I know you are experiencing difficulties at the moment, ne? Yes, you are experiencing difficulties. Uh, you are where you are. This situation is meant for you. It's not meant for, for the other person. This situation is meant for you, not for the other person. Then you must take the situation with an open heart and say to God, Yes, I'm here. I'm in this situation. Yes, I'm bankrupt. Yes, I'm broke yes i'm poor why am i here what's my purpose here what do you want me to see here those are the things that you must ask god because at the end of the day every situation that is in, happening in your life at the moment is for a purpose it's for a purpose but the problem is one the problem with humans is that we work with time frames you, you get me family are you with me the problem with us but to humans Rebecca got the time frames we work with time frames our own time frame my time frame and his time frame are not the same are you with me are, are you coming with me family come with me come, come with me come with me my time frame and his time frame are not the same God has his own time frame. I've got my own time frame. Once you start to understand this, this difference between a human time frame and godly time frame is where you can start to say, God, why, why am I in this situation at the moment? Because I always say, if you believe that uh, there's a day and there's a night, yes, you can still believe that there's, uh, there are bad times and there are good times. Because you can believe that there is darkness and there is light. And you can also believe that there's, there's bad and there's good. Now, you are where you are for a purpose. Don't ever underestimate that. Don't ever underestimate your suffering. Don't ever underestimate your richness. You are there for a purpose. And then uh, you are there for a test. Are you with me, family? Are you with me? Are you with me? We're getting there. We, we're getting there. You are there. It's a test. You are there for a test. Some of you, some of you, your life is getting brighter. Things are getting to you. You're attracting money. It's a test again. It's still a test. He wants to see your heart. Because some of you, 
you thinking that you are already there, whereas you are, it's only a test and a taste. Come with me, family. Uh, come with me. Don't get lost. Some of you, your things are better. And you're starting to change. Eh? You're starting to change. Changing what? Manners. Changing what? Who you are. And you're thinking that this is what he wants for you. It's not what he wants for you. It's only a taste. You are tasting. He's only testing you with the taste of success. You are not yet successful because he's still going to give you a more. But you are changing. Or change again. Or change again taste of success. You are not yet there. But you're already changing your manners. You're already changing how you talk to people. It's only a taste. Because uh, he, he'll never, ever, ever show us our future. Because once some of us could know that we, we're going to have a brighter future. Some of us, we won't work. Some of us, you know. But he'll never show us that, wow, I've got this for you. Then don't change by anything. You are where you are for a purpose. You are where you are for a purpose. You know, guys, I want you to study it on a brighter side. Ne? I'm studying this on a brighter side. Because most of the time, when we talk about uh, things, we talk about uh, the lonely, the dark side of, of life. I want to start on a, on a brighter, brighter side of life. You thinking that job of yours is everything. And in God's eyes, that job of yours is the start. But you already think in that position that you have a uh, spanning, it's everything. And in God's eyes, that position is just a stepping stone. It's not yet anything in his eyes. And you're starting to be a different person. Because you're having that corner office, a corn then you're changing your behavior. Whereas in God's eyes, you are only a step one. But you, as a human being, you're thinking you are a step number 10. No, no, you're not a step number 10. He is the only one who knows in which step you are. He is the only one. And maybe, maybe you're starting to be somebody else Whereas you are still on step one and you thinking that car that you're driving you thinking that house that you're having is step number 10 Whereas in God's eyes is only step one I don't know if you get me family. Please get me This is so powerful because we human beings are We get lost in a way We get lost in a way You are where you are for a purpose You are where you are for the purpose. Jakina, stop checking the gold tooth. Listen to the message. Can change your life. You are where you are for the purpose. Most of the time, don't lead. Let God lead. Because if you're thinking you are in step number 10, Whereas, in his eyes, you are in step one. He'll take you to step zero. I don't know if you get me. He'll take you to step zero. Because you didn't have the spiritual eye to understand the purpose of your position. To understand the purpose of where you are. You must understand the purpose of where you are. Once you start to understand the purpose of where you are, you'll start to respect and treat everyone with dignity. Because if you don't, family, it's a problem. You having in a corner office, you having a higher position at work, it doesn't mean you are already a step number 10. You are not there. He's, test he's testing you. He's only testing testing you it's a taste because he still have bigger things for you 
Now you want to see, can he trust you with the small things? And those small things in your eyes, you thinking they are bigger things, whereas they are not yet bigger things. They are just smaller things. The bigger things are still coming in your life. Don't let position change you. Don't let money change you. I always say to my family, I always say to my family, uh, I always say, my human, listen to me, I always say my human bank balance uh, is empty. But, but my godly bank balance, wow, it's so heavy. Godly, heavenly bank balance. Now, family, don't let anything derail you. Don't let the position, don't let the education, don't let anything derail you from knowing the purpose of where you are. Ne? Don't think the money that you have is everything. It's not everything. You're still going to have a lot of money more than that. Don't think the car that you're driving is everything. No, 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 no. You're still going to drive the biggest cars more than whatever you're having at the moment. It's just to understand the purpose of where you are. Okay? Let me go to the dark side of it. That was the brighter side. Let me go to the dark side of it. You are experiencing difficult times now. Some of you, you are even going to leave the church away it's now. You're going to leave the church. Because that church of Shapagana is wasting your time. Because you as a human being, you've got your own time frame. We pay it now, okay? You've got your own time frame. If some of us, okay, let, let me bring it home now. Let me bring it home. Let me bring it, let me bring it home now. Some of us, we had very bigger plans for the year 2020. We had so much bigger plans for the year 2020, coming to business and everything. What happened? What happened? I want to talk about the human plan and the God plan, guys. Are you with me, family? I'm talking about the human plans and the godly plans. What happened? Yeah, you started a business, Kajen. You started a business, Kafeb. That business, after some few months, there was a COVID. The business now, a guy. Where's the business? Down the drain. The human plan, not the God plan. Once you start to understand the. We, 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 we need to understand. We need to understand, family. Why are we where we are? It's for a purpose. Let's seek for that purpose. The suffering that you're experiencing at the moment. Find a lesson out of it. Find a lesson out of it. Somewhere, somehow, you were not humble. You know yourself. You know yourself that the time you were waking, you were not humble to people. You know yourself that the time you were waking, you were selfish. You know yourself the time that you were waking, you were not respecting anyone. Know the purpose of where you are. Somewhere, somehow, he's just humbling you. Some of, somewhere, somehow, when we are waking, when we are there, when we're doing fine, we even get lazy to pray. That's human nature. That's human nature. I'm not judging you because even myself sometimes, yes, I don't pray, hey? It's human nature. But, but you know, uh, sometimes he takes away from us all the beautiful things. He takes them, them away from us so that we can understand who he is. He's the God of all times. Is taking not forever just to humble you uh, I've seen a lot of friends guys I've been I've been there than that yes I've been lots of friends uh, I've seen lots of friends some of my friends I never thought I would see them like Batama Kamaoto yellow pages I never thought so I never thought so some of my friends that 
uh, I grew up with because uh, some of them used to be rich, Kububone. rich, meaning rich, rich. And then uh, that person with Hotama Kamauto, for me in my mind is a dream. No, that person will never. But when God humbles a person, he takes everything. He takes everything, no matter how much you can have. If God needs to humble you now, he humbles you right now. Many businesses that were making millions, now some of them are closed. It's a problem because the human plans and the God plans are not the same. Know why you are in this situation. Ask for wisdom to know why you are in this situation. And once you start to understand, and once you start to be real with yourself, you need to be real with yourself. You need to know that, hey, the time you can give a record, the time when I was fine, the time when my things were bright, I didn't respect people. I was fiery when I was a manager. I was suspending when I was a manager. I was doing this, 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 this to people. Now I'm where, you, where I am because of a purpose. God is just humbling me. God is just teaching me the lesson to say, you are not God. I am God. Is what he says to you in that lesson. You are not God. I am God. Then many people, they fail for me. I'm not a pastor or a preacher or anything. Uh, these are just life lessons. Once you start to understand the purpose of every situation, then wow, big up to you. You are living. You are living. Big up to you. You are living. Once you understand the purpose of every situation, the purpose of suffering, once you understand it, family, you are, you are living. Once you understand the purpose of every situation, my family, then you are living. I love you so much, family. God's timing is never wrong. He's always early. He's never late. He can't be late. He can't be late because he sees what you don't see. He sees what you don't see. You are with Daddy Tess here as your friend. And God sees that Daddy Tess is not a friend that you think he is. He will delay, I always say, he will delay your blessings before he opens your eyes to see that this person is not what you think he is. Uh, during the week, I was talking about the people that we hang around with. I was talking about it. The people that we hang around with. Uh, some of your blessings are delayed because of the people that you have next to you. Some of your blessings are delayed. Now I'm talking from experience. Family, I'm talking from experience now. I'm talking about my life. I'm giving it to you. Uh, I always say... Uh, I don't regret my time on earth. I don't regret it. But I regret the time that I've spent with wrong friends. Yes, I regret it. I regret that time that I've spent with wrong friends. Because when I start to open my eyes and say, no, 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 no. Walk alone. I'm going to walk alone. It's where my life changed. It's where my life started to, uh, it's where I, I, I started to see the purpose. Then you sh should never be me because I was late to see Elia. I want you to see Elia that somewhere, somehow, your blessings are delayed because of the people that hangs around you. Because God always will bless you in the right time. What, but what is, what is that right time? After he shifted all those bad things that will derail his plans, then check your surroundings. Check the people that you hang around with. Check. Check your surroundings. Check your friends that you hang around with. Somewhere, somehow, 
God has seen it, be has seen it uh, beforehand that if I could bless this, do this daughter of mine or if I could bless this son of mine, whoever hangs around with is going to be jealous and then maybe he or she is going to even take the life of that child of mine. Let me not bless this child of mine. Let me open his eyes or her eyes first to know that this one is not needed in your life. Some of your blessings are delayed for your own good. Your blessings are delayed for your own good. Pray for wisdom. Know why you are in this position. Know why you are where you are. People, we don't know why. And we don't search for it. I don't know if, uh, I don't want to say we are lazy. We are not lazy. It's human nature. I don't want to say we are lazy. It's human nature. Uh, you must know why you are in this situation, family. You must know why you are in that position. You must know why you are educated. You must know why you are uneducated. Because in God's eyes, God doesn't see the degrees. God doesn't see the masters. Wow. I don't know if you get me. God doesn't see all those things. Doesn't see your degrees. Doesn't see your masters. That is why you must never underestimate anyone. You must never write off anyone. You are having that masters, PhD and all those for a purpose. For a purpose. And it's God's purpose. It's not your purpose. It's God's purpose. That is why even if you have that doctorate, you must respect the person who has nothing. The person that you can call an illiterate, you must respect that person. Because that person, he's there for a purpose. He is illiterate for a purpose. No one wants to be illiterate. I don't know if you're getting me, family. Come with me. No one wants to be illiterate. No kid now. I, I, I always say to you, get to a primary school class now. Ne? Get to a primary school class. Go to class in Zabomomo. Ask them. Ask the, the kids. Baba say to them, what, what do you want to be when you grow up? Ask those kids at primary school. Great R. All of them will raise their hands. Doctors, nurses, lawyers, all those beautiful things. But there's a purpose that God has for everyone in the class. Even an illiterate, there's a purpose for that. Even a beggar on a street, on a street, there's a purpose for that. I always say to my kids, guys, you just don't know. Uh, somewhere, somehow, uh, 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 I thought of uh, I won't capture I won't capture other videos that we do. Uh, the knowledge that I'm getting from the beggars is a big knowledge. The knowledge that I'm getting I'm getting from those guys but certainly bottom strategy. Sometimes when I drive, before I could give that person twenty rand, then we discuss with that person. They've got knowledge. Ask me a question or the knowledge thing. Ask me a question and, I'll, and I'll, uh, uh, let me answer you. I know somebody has asked me for a knowledge thing about Fanyona. Those people were just like you and I, but they end up on They end up on the street. I'm talking about the beggars. And we always see about Rula and Jene, see about Rula, we drive, we pass them because we are in our, in, in our cars. We're not thinking that one day we can be like them. We say about Rulanji. Say about Rulanji. Go to those people. Ask that person, why did, you, why did you end up on the street? Some of them, they've got those masters that you have. Some of them, they've got those degrees that you have. But go to those people. Get the knowledge. Why are they there? Because they are there for a purpose to teach you. To teach you. 
God has a purpose for everyone. Even a beggar on the street. There's a reason why he's there. Go to that person and talk to that person. Why are you in this situation? And he'll tell you step by step. Or she'll tell you step by step. And you will start to change the mindset. Because you will never be like that person. God is using that person for a purpose to be a beggar. To help you not to be a beggar. Those people are angels. The angels that you want, but you don't see. Because you're thinking you'll never be like those people. Those people were like you and I. Some of them, they used to own businesses. Those people who are begging at the moment. Go to those people. Get the knowledge. Ask why are you begging? They will tell you. They will tell you. I don't know if somebody's sharing me. Don't underestimate anyone. That is why we do recycling. That is why we do recycling. Hmm? The, the recycling of cans. Why can't we do the recycling of people? You know, why can't we do the recycling of people? Why don't we go to those beggars and ask, why are they on the street? Why don't we recycle them? Why don't we recycle their knowledge? Because they've been in the situation. They know better than you. They know better than me, those people on the street. I respect them, guys. I respect them. Go and get the knowledge. Somewhere, somehow, you are there with your PhD. You are there with your masters. You think you got it all. You don't have it all. You don't have it all. You don't have it all. Go to that person, that beggar. Uh, I had this one uh, at the bridge and then uh, I said with this guy, he's a beggar, he's a white guy and he told me about his life, he told me about the business that he used to own, he told me about everything, about how he lost all, all, all of his things, about how he lost his family until he becomes a beggar. Then now, uh, I was saying to you, where anything, wherever you are, is for a purpose. It's for a purpose. Don't ever underestimate anyone. Don't take anyone for granted. We need to learn from each other. Learn from that beggar. Yeah. We need to do it, family. I love you so much. Let's share the knowledge every day. Let's build each other. Let's change lives. Sometimes, really, uh, you need knowledge, not money, to change life. Sometimes you need knowledge, not money. Sometimes, when people ask you for money, if you don't have money, give them knowledge. Share with them. You need to share sometimes. It's not every time when a person will knock here and say, they did you go for 100 rand, I'll give that person 100 rand. Somewhere, somehow, I don't give them, we just sit here and talk about life. Give them knowledge. Don't make yourself God, hey? Somewhere, somehow, you don't have to give money, 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 corner by corner. Somewhere, somehow, remind people that they need to pray. That's the biggest gift you can give to a person. It's even more than money, if I can tell you. If, you know, if, I, if I can tell you, it's more than money to say to a person, I know you're having problems. Have you ever tried praying? It's the biggest thing that you've done. You've done something very big. Just to say to that person, go and pray. Go and pray. Go and pray. Because family, before, 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 before I conclude this, next. I want to tell you, I want to tell you something that we human beings we are doing. 
and it's very wrong sometimes it's very wrong sometimes somewhere somehow i'm in i'm in my deepest situation ne? you don't know what have i done to god you you don't know what have i done to god you just don't know maybe i was having a business maybe i was not respecting people god is humbling me ne? with the situation and i come to you god is busy humbling me and i come to you i ask for help and you give me money would i pray no no i'm not gonna pray why you know because when i ask you for money you're giving it to me would i pray i will never pray because you always give it to me you even you don't even advise me to pray you give me money god is gonna take away from you he's gonna take that money from you not to say god hates you he doesn't hate you he's doing this because you are derailing his plans he's trying to humble someone and you are aiding that person that person will never ever be humbled somewhere somehow family ne? it's not to say you're funny when you say to people i can't give you money can you pray go to pray pray god talk to god it's not to say you're funny you are doing something very big you are doing something very 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 big even if that person ne? somehow but for you in the eyes of god you've done something very huge you are even better than that person who took the thousand run from his pocket and give it to that person you are better than that person because you said to that person pray god thank you family love you so much it's sunday uh, we are still at work uh, we are waking then uh, have a wonderful Sunday. Enjoy your Sunday course. I'm not going to have a Sunday course because I had the kukune. My wife baked so many, many, many cookies. Then now my stomach is full because of cookies. And somebody was saying, uh, eh, Mama, what was the allergy? Oh, it is the kuku so that you can be full. So that you, can, you, not, you, you shouldn't ask for Sunday course. Yes. Thank you, family. Ne? Thank you so much, family. We share the knowledge. Share with me. I will share with you. I love you guys. Thank you. Chop chop.